I think that the narrative is, and that the core of the message should be, that the en energy industry in general, and companies like Castera in particular, are here to help society to find a solution to what is one of the main challenges of our time. We want to help, we do yeah. not want to obstruct. Yeah, together, yeah, together yes. with society. So what we would like to do is, we have been part of the solution yeah. for 50 years, but it takes we became, a lot of courage, I yeah, think. Yeah. Uh, we can uh, admit, we are part of the problem now. But we yeah. think that we're at the same time we are part of the solution. Let's bring that together. And yeah. let's find a solution together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's yeah. difficult because it's a kind of paradox. It is. Very and people don't, like to, <laughs> people don't like to deal with paradoxes. Yeah. They like to deal with simple truths. And that's the one thing I don't have. Simple truths. The big concern is, of course, that is it possible to... I, well, I don't like to speak in terms of winning and losing, but okay, win this debate. And what I mean with win this debate is that you can do something productive with it. We heard about an, a protest in, in Groningen against the production of gas from mm -hmm. Groningen, mm -hmm. the extraction, the earthquakes and everything connected with it. And then there are some radical groups who say, zero, you have to go back to zero. The result of that is simply that we do not have the gas to heat our homes. So that's not, a, that's not an option. But that could be a question. If you formulate it as a question. Not as a statement or Exactly. The answer I regularly get from these people is, it's not my problem, deal with it. You are clever, aren't you? And then what, what, what do you do with that? I think you have to listen to uh, society uh, and then, then you can okay. formulate your answers. So mm -hmm. how can we find a solution? Because everybody knows what the problem is yeah. and everybody wants it solved, but how can you yeah. do that together? I think you have already an important podium for that. The website uh, you have from uh, Gasterra in which you are starting uh, this uh, debate. Huh? The Energy Podium is an open invitation to everybody who is involved yeah. In, yeah. in the energy debate yeah. to share their vision, their views with yeah. others. And that works, it's no problem. But that yeah. is in a way easy because it's politics, it's, it's abstract thinking, it's people who are already informed. Uh, so the debate, although the vision may differ, is easier. But here you talk to people who just uh, all of a sudden were confronted with something they didn't ask for, mm -hmm. and they are right that they, they are entitled to a solution. Mm -hmm. Um, this, this aspect of framing, of course, eh? the, the research is also about framing. And I've noticed that for us, framing is difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, why is it difficult? Because we are a vested interest. And there is this old wisdom that says that an incumbent never can be part of a transition. Because you're an incumbent. So you have an interest to defend. I don't agree with that. You are part of the system. And the system is not going to solve this. We need new people, new organizations, new mm -hmm. methods. Mm -hmm. I can give many examples. For instance, we are confronted with gas is, is, is a fuel from yesterday. Mm -hmm. Well, we know it isn't. I mean, we are in the middle of it and we are in a transition. And it's going to take decades before we can stop using natural gas. 
On the other hand, the frame gas is yesterday and I, renewables, mm -hmm. I represent the future, I represent something good, it's yeah. very difficult to counter because they have an agenda. They, mm -hmm. they are not necessarily interested in the nuance. Mm -hmm. And we are, uh, well, nuance is our business. And the problem is energy, we need enough of it. And the problem is climate, because it's changing because of our activities. So, let's face it, we are part of the problem. Being part of the problem, we have to become part of the solution. How can we contribute to society to make it happen? Which means that sometimes you have to be able to hurt yourself yeah. about the pure business. Yeah. And then you have to admit that, first of all, natural gas will disappear eventually, mm -hmm. which is our product. That's a funny thing to say for a baker. Yeah. Eventually, we don't need bread anymore. And secondly, it's something that goes to the core of the issue mm -hmm. and that you have to reform yourself to stay relevant. Now, this is a difficult debate because when I, well, a couple of weeks ago I was in Brussels where I debated this issue with other gas companies and they were shocked in a way. Some of them were shocked. I think so. Because they said, <laughs> wait, wait a minute, guy, what, what are you telling us? You, you're telling us that in the end, we will be obsolete. I said, no, if you don't want to become obsolete, you have to change your ways. Exactly. And that's not really, that's not a communication strategy. It starts with a business strategy. That's a, a, a reorientation. And we, as communicators, are not in the business of telling companies what to do. No, no, no. no. We're advising them, uh, yeah. and then we can help them to be more yeah. effective with yeah. what is happening. And I, we are in the middle of that debate. And research, like you have yeah. done, helps us mm -hmm. to convince those okay. well, who are pretty conservative to yeah. say, okay, listen, let's yeah. face it, this is a situation yeah, we're not going to get anywhere if we don't change our ways. I can say that at least my colleagues, so mm -hmm. the communication specialists uh, in the industry, they agree with the analysis. They, yeah. And they also agree with the fact that we should change our strategy. It should become bottom-up instead yeah. of what it has been in the yeah. past, top-down. So yeah. I see movement there and I use the research for that. So it's not only Castera anymore. Yeah. So if there will be a follow-up research, then I would like to commit the others as well. That it is more than just a story from Castera. Well, the research gives us a basic insight in what is uh, uh, happening in the discourse about mm -hmm. gas and about yeah. energy, about yeah. production, etc. But the follow-up should be, I'm convinced, as a whole, the gas sector, the industry, that we do adopt a new strategy yeah. to deal with this issue. And I also want to be honest about our motives. Mm -hmm. Our motive is, motive is to stay relevant. Our motive is to stay in business. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. But we think that we can combine the desires the, of society, the needs of society, with the needs of individual companies. Mm -hmm. Because if we wouldn't believe in that, we wouldn't believe in our own system. But I don't have anything else. But it's difficult because it's a kind of paradox. It is. Very and people don't, like to, people don't like to deal with paradoxes. Yeah. They like to deal with simple truths. And that's the one thing I don't have. No. Simple truths.